all seems well at the Crystarium. Yes. Yulmore was plainly more concerned with finding us. How flattering. You certainly took your time. I had half resolved to complete the task myself. And you are... Were one to study the annals of Galian history, one would find yonder visage on many a page. Though by rights, its youth should long since have faded. Well, well, we have a historian in our midst. That spares me a lengthy explanation. I am Solus So Scalpus, founding father of the Galian Empire, and under various guises, the architect of myriad other imperially inclined nations. As for my true identity... I am Emmett Sel, Asian. I spoke of you, a native of the source. Equal in rank to La Habrea. And you came all this way just to introduce yourself to us. Behold the sky, restored to its former glory. Have you ever seen a more affecting spectacle? Oh, it is truly Deeply infuriating. Do you have any idea how much you have delayed the rejoining? Following the flood, the first had been listing ever further towards the light, towards stasis. The end was in sight. Enter man and his indomitable spirit. He would haul the world back from the brink. And adding his lump and weight to the power of growth, he duly tipped the scales, if only by a fraction. Yet a fraction was enough to spoil the perfect imbalance needed to bring about a rejoining. <sighs> Had mankind continued to live in idleness under Vorthry's rule, all the conditions would have been met. But you had to come and ruin it all! Thanks to your meddling, light supremacy is in doubt, and our painstakingly laid plans are in tatters! Well, I should begin by thanking you for confirming Uriange's theories on the inner workings of the Calamity. He will be most pleased. As for what happens next, might I suggest you admit defeat and walk away? Happy to let me go, are you? Because the murderous glint in your eye suggests otherwise. Indeed, it is enough to make me think better of confronting you alone. Look. It did cross my mind to simply side with Vorthry and kill you all. But that's no different from what La Habre did. And we all know how well that ended for him. And so, while it is liable to be troublesome, I have settled upon a different approach. Cooperation. I will not raise a hand to hinder your hunt for the Light Wardens. If you desire it, I will even lend you my knowledge and strength. Since time immemorial, you and yours have labored to rejoin the Thirteen Shards, at the cost of countless lives. Do you expect us to believe that your objective has suddenly changed? Nay, our objective is the same as it ever was. 
Though I dare say, you do not know our motive. A war waged without knowledge of the enemy is no war. It is mere bloodletting. Just once, might we not seek to find common ground? For good or ill, I am immortal. Provided I have the inclination, I can always begin anew, scheme and conspire to my heart's content. But this time I thought that I might instead try to see eye to eye, to understand what drives the hero of the source, to determine if our goals are truly incompatible. So come, shed your preconceptions, see beyond the unscrupulous villains you take us for. When all is said and done, we may find ourselves pleasantly surprised. The proud discoverers of a path of cooperation rather than opposition. Think of it. Thou hast delivered thy proposal, and we would not dismiss it outright. If I may offer thee counsel, however, to make thy case via an illusion reflecteth poorly upon thy sincerity. My apologies. You will forgive me if I'm not entirely at ease in the presence of a famed Assyrian Slayer. I felt it only prudent to take precautions. Nonetheless, your counsel is duly noted. I take my leave, friends. Rest assured, we shall meet again soon.
from the Exarch, is it? Uh, with that mirror of his, he can watch your every move, you know. You'll probably think you're talking to yourself. Still, he's keeping you well fed. Judging by his people's faith in him, he seems to be a decent sort. But so much about him remains shrouded in mystery. Like what was he doing back in my day? There was no such person when I was around. A lot's happened since the flood, though. Since I was set adrift. I know little more than you do of this city's history in the Exarch's past. Not that it matters. It's Emmett Selk we should be concerned about. When our world was about to be consumed by light, the Asin in white appeared before us. He said that the only way for us to live on was to bring about the rejoining. Desperate as we were, we heeded his words, not realizing that the flood was of the Asian's own making. They cannot be trusted, none of them. But Emmett Selk had one thing right. One should not fight blindly. That's what we did. And it cost us everything we held dear. Bon? What about Seto? What is that to say? <sighs> All right. He's done some growing. When we were traveling together, he was nowhere near as big. And he obviously couldn't speak. I had no idea how much that medallion meant to him. What about you, anyway? You must have a friend like Seto. Chocobo, perhaps? Come on, you tell me something for a change.
Ah, oh, there you are. You're just in time to welcome our guest. Please. Did I not explicitly tell you that we would be meeting again soon? Lest you forget, I made you a promise. I have no intention of meddling with your mission. I come only to observe. Your Exarch friend in particular has piqued my curiosity. Summoning you all like that. Most impressive. You honestly expect us to believe you've come only to observe? Or that you might deign to lift a finger to aid our cause if called upon? Even if there were a sliver of truth in your words, I would never accept your help. Not in my darkest hour. Not after all the suffering your kind has wrought. So petty. I meant what I said and I said what I meant. Wage your war against the Sin Eaters, put each and every Light Warden to the sword, prove yourselves heroes, brave and true, and I will be glad to embrace you as allies. Allies worthy of bearing the burden of truth. Surely such a partnership would be preferable to yet another round of fisticuffs. And thus did the olive branch wither and die. Pity. Well, let no man say I did not try, futile as it was. Though I suspect you will seek me out when you grow tired of making the same mistakes. Difficult decisions lie ahead of you. Decisions best made with the benefit of knowledge to which only the Eternal are privy. For now, I shall resume my shadowy vigil. Whatever you choose to do, make sure it's worth watching, would you? What was that all about? A vain attempt to make us doubt our chosen course, most likely. As if we'd believe a word that passed his lips. Unless you think there is some truth in what he says. I'm sure you will. But consider for a moment. If he meant simply to lead us astray, he could have done so without revealing himself. At least, not in the manner he did. It goes without saying that an alliance with the Asians is out of the question. But since we have no way of knowing where they might be hiding, it seems only logical to press on with our mission, even if our enemy seems content for it to succeed. Then let us discuss the Sin Eaters. I would begin by thanking you all for your efforts thus far. In striking down the Light Wardens of Lakeland and Ilmeg, you have accomplished more in your short time here than all of our forces managed in the last century. That may be, but the Wardens of Calusia, Amareng, and Raktika remain. Indeed, and their precise whereabouts are as yet unknown. Which is why I propose we divide our forces and conduct a systematic survey of each region. Once we have found our quarry, we may then determine how best to proceed. I'll take Armoreng in that case. I know the lie of the land well enough. If there are no objections, I will make for Calusia. I have connections there both in and around Yulmor that may prove useful. Then I would ask that you journey to Raktiko. 
There you will find your Stola. With her assistance, I doubt the Warden will evade your grasp for long. Is you Stola the Conjurer you and Uriange used to talk about? That's right. Though we haven't spoken much since she left for the forest. I fear I may be to blame for that. I had every intention of relaying the news of your arrival, but she is disinclined to speak with me. You have visited her, have you not? Might I trouble you to... It would be no trouble. My thanks. While you are all out in the field, I shall be here attending to business. I had somewhat fancifully contemplated joining the search myself, but other matters demand my attention. What's that? A missive from Lord Vorthry. He invites me to join him in Yulmore to discuss the recent conflict at Leda Loran. And? Did he even bother to offer any bait? It's obviously a trap. I should be surprised if it were not. Nevertheless, I must seize this opportunity to speak with him, even if only a few words are exchanged. Though my power will be much diminished so far from the tower, it is a risk I am willing to take. Master Alphano, might I impose upon you to accompany me to Yulmore prior to beginning your reconnaissance? Of course. Then let us make ready. Safe travels to you all. Thank you. 